Welcome back. All right, Aries. Aries, let's get your best advice here. Aries. So you're definitely being guided or you're dealing with somebody who's definitely being guided, okay? This is a, a resurfence. This is new energy. This is one to fix things, make things right. You got the four of cups, so you feel like you missed an opportunity here with someone because of silliness, back and forth, not being grounded. You went after lust and desire. And now you're kind of stressed out because you want something more. You're hoping something's going to go in your favor. So you definitely feel like you missed an opportunity here. But this is also a life experience, and that's exactly what this phoenix is too. And exactly what the cobra. When the student's ready, the teacher will appear. So you can do this. This is a significant life event. It's powerful. You know, it's like a wake-up call that leads to change. Spread your wings. That's a double affirmation here. Aries. Two of Cups, so there's mutual feelings between you and somebody. A relationship will grow deeper. Forgiveness is needed. Positive resolution to a conflict. So if there's some type of conflict that we didn't see here on the board, it's being resolved with the Knight of Fire, and that's the Knight coming in. Okay, it's a sudden event. Think things through and go. And you are thinking things through. You're the Knight of Pence, right? So this is extra, like, confirmation. Something big is, is happening. The wheel is turning and you got the phoenix, guys. Ladies and gents. I said guys as if there's guys watching. A majority of you are feminine. So, possible outcome. The empress. You're going right towards that empress. You can have the empress. And you got the queen of earth coming out too. You know, it's dealing with the challenges and understanding a certain situation. So it's almost like, and I just said, guys. So if my women are cross-watching, it's, it's like, they don't just get you, but like, they get you. And, and what they get, I mean, this is a prize. And I hate to, I don't want to look at a woman that way, but I mean, the, the empress with the, the queen of earth, I mean, it's warm, it's creative, it's sensible energy, it's nurturing, it's caring, it's loving, it's independent, it's beautiful you do have a mutual connection with somebody here that didn't even come out on the board this is a huge life experience but it, it's worth taking Aries hyena okay so gonna wanna I feel like someone's a little aggravated with the situation. You are, they are. Again, it's, it's fire, right? Yeah, fire. Where's the hyena? Humor, wit, sarcasm. I feel like it's anger though. The hyena personality is a jokester and a crowd pleaser. But below the surface is unfulfilled dreams that need to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time for you to reflect. Let the sarcasm and humor go to express your truths. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or masking things because you're uncomfortable discussing them? What happens if you took those goals seriously? When you're in balance, you're charming, you're witty, you're fun to be around. When you're out of balance, you're scrappy, you're petty. Okay, to bring into balance sobriety. So you might be dealing with a drinker. This is the energy you guys are dealing with. So I feel like when this energy comes around, you're going to be like, no fucking way. But there is a ton of events, guys. This energy is changing. I feel like I'm straight up talking to cross watchers. I'm so sorry, especially if you're an Aries sun. You know, go watch your moon rising Venus because 
this is like a masculine energy. This is somebody who's very unstable right now. That's why the Cobra came out and said, um, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. It's, it's like not really being ready. Like you're ready, but you're letting past hold you back. So now you're just scrappy and, and petty. You know, instead of being charming, witty, and fun to be around. So it's it's like, that's why I got that impression off the feminine. Like, you're going to be like, yeah, whatever, or fuck that. or Because I, I, I felt it. I felt it. You're, you're dealing with somebody who may mask feelings with liquor, too, unfortunately. But the wheel is here, guys. There is change. This, this energy is being watched over and guided. So it, it's kind of like an immature energy or not as mature as you would like but it looks like something's gonna go in your direction so I, I wouldn't stress out over it because this person normally would have a, a wonderful personality but again below the surface dreams are you know dreams need to be realized when the hyena appears it's time to reflect on your own sarcasm and wisdom and how you express your truth gotta let go of old resentments and relationships and stop masking how you feel just because you're uncomfortable discussing so i i hope that these changes are, are in the process of being made it definitely looks like they are somebody's being guided okay somebody's also going through a, a massive transformation so i'm gonna pull the best advice for the cross watchers for the feminine here because this is this is tough it's, you're kind of losing patience with this energy. I'm thinking about making this public. Queen of Water. It looks like this relationship is going to go to the next level. Okay, trust your intuition. So trust your intuition here, ladies. It's, it's got to be tough. You're dealing with somebody who's resisting. Ugh. Got renewal at the bottom of the deck. It's time to go in a new direction. And I, that, I don't think that's necessary for the, for the feminine energy here. It's, it's just... It's, it's kind of saying together it's a renewal. It's you and somebody else. You are dealing with an energy that is resisting. Change. How something went down in the past. If you guys are dealing with... If you are dealing with somebody who is a drinker, hopefully, you know, they're, they're sober up. Because it's, it's how they mask things. You are dealing with something petty here. But I, I think you're putting that in place, so you, you're definitely putting yourself first. This is a life experience, okay? So be patient. With this energy because this energy does want more but this is energy of somebody having to do it on their own right and i think you're fully aware of that because you're your empress energy you just you you know what's right and what's not yeah judgment you're gonna have to make a judgment call when this energy comes back around forgiveness second chances and we just saw that where did we just see that oh yeah with the renewal judgment call Looks fuzzy. Sorry about that. If I don't hold it steady enough, it doesn't focus. It takes a minute to focus. All right. I hope this guys. I hope that this helps. This is is tough, but there is an energy here again. Ancestors, you know, guardians. Somebody is directing and guiding. They do look a little angry with the person you're dealing with, though. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're at the point too with this cobra energy of you know when the when the students ready the teacher will appear, and until then, you know you're on your own.
I feel like I might publish this one and, and, and do another extended for you guys real quick. Because I, I feel like this is important for the cross watchers. I'm going to think about that one because you guys are paid Patreons, right? So messages are for you. There's more going on than meets the eye. Is that the expression? It, it does look like if the Aries here go in the right direction, you know, um, the wheel will turn in a very positive scenario. You know, life experiences are not easy. But for those who are dealing, you are dealing with someone who's like petty and smug right now. And that's, it, it's just, it's tough. But you also know this energy is great when in tuned and, and feeling themselves and not under pressure and, you know. But this, this group of Aries needs to figure that out themselves. There is mutual love here, so. You're dealing with somebody who is, is going through a lot. Um, it's life lessons again. I mean, this is a big transformation that somebody is going to make or needs to make. And if they don't, as a cross watcher, don't worry about it. You're holding yourself to high standards more. Like you don't, you don't need to worry with, you know, you just, you don't, you may go in another direction, but you still get what you want in the end. And it might, for some of you, might not even be this this person. I am going to publish this. This is a big deal. This is a life experience. This is a big deal, I think, especially for my cross watchers. Regardless of mutual love, right? This was a life lesson. And it could have been one for you, too, because now you're the empress, right? Now you're holding yourself in high standards. This lesson learned. Others of you, I really think this is somebody who missed an opportunity. They're going to come back around, you know, um... If you guys choose to forgive each other and move past this, then it looks like you can renew something and it, it will be positive. It, you know, you will transform something. Um, I mean, for your sake, I, I really do hope that this, this energy pushes through this because um, it is, it is nice energy. This is probably how you guys met, you know, charming, witty, fun to be around. And now it's just, it's scrappy, it's arguments, it's, it's petty, it's suspicious energy, it's like hiding, masking how they feel. It, it's like, and the Empress ain't going to deal with that shit. But then you got somebody here, because I, I really feel like spirit's angry with this energy, just kind of like whoever's watching and guiding, like, what are you doing? You know, like, you know better, you're smarter than that. You're dealing with someone who is probably spiritual, but would never admit that they're spiritual. You're dealing with somebody who's who's extremely intelligent and smart and follows their intuition and, and is gifted and would just, you'd never know it because they gave you a different side of them. That That's why spirits like, when you're ready, you know, we can get on with this. There is a massive transformation here, though. Some of you guys will see it through, and, and others of you will not. It's, it's too much. I can feel I can feel it. I can just feel that energy coming from you. It's just like too much. So what's meant to be will be clearly, right? But it does look like the, the Aries, the group of the collection of you know, especially for my cross watchers, this is a big message for my cross watchers here and for my Aries, obviously, too, right? But, um, this is freedom from suffering and past karma, you know, it, it's, it's basically, you know, this burn helps, bird helps you, the phoenix, okay, helps you, um, 
burn through the baggage that no longer that's needed. Stop running from what it is. All right, stop worrying about what's happened to you in the past. That stuckness, the dead weight falls into ashes. It is some, so somebody wasn't even conscious. Like they were conscious of what they're doing, if that makes sense. But they weren't like really conscious, conscious, like they weren't themselves, right? They didn't even realize certain aspects of themselves. But this is coming to a close. This is like spirit knows that you know better. Like this is an old soul. This is somebody who's wise and intelligent and, you know, takes leadership. It's it's the Aries, right? So it, it's like spirits, like I just get and get like smarting up energy, like smarting up, like suck it up. Like, if you're embarrassed, humiliated, the way you act, and, like, suck it up, life goes on. Like, the wheel is here to, to, to go into your favor. Like, everybody goes through these moments of humiliation, embarrassment, and pettiness, and just bullshit. You know, it, it does suck when there's somebody else in the picture and they're getting dragged along. But you're dealing with somebody who probably clearly understands what what is going on and is, you know truth and honesty and and owning up to shit is is what's key when you're dealing with an empress i am going to publish this okay so I, this is your advice for my cross watchers and this is for if you are dealing with any fire sign not just aries this week this just happens to be aries okay um but it's, it's fire fire you're dealing with a strong fire sign um again cross watchers vulture so you're pissed too you're not having it the frog keeps ending up at the bottom of the deck so some of you your earth which again could be taurus taurus is sitting right here but you're not you're not having it either so you need this piece of advice too it's not earth i'm sorry it's air which would explain why you're probably pissed guardian the purifier essence of rebalance so you can bring something back into balance i just don't think you're having it look at the way you're looking at this hyena right now the vulture the vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all of us intriguing bird balances balances and and prevents us to spread of disease it it does the dirty work let me start over. The vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. It's an intriguing bird. It, it balances. It prevents us from spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up after other people's messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What your thought was of a mistake or a tragedy is a blessing in, dis in disguise. So, like, that's what I'm saying. You're pissed. You're like, this is a fucking mistake. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I went through this. I can't believe I experienced this. But it's basically saying it's a blessing in disguise. Okay? Um, when, in when in balance, it brings clarity. It reveals wisdom. When out of balance, it's dramatic or aggressive. To bring into bal balance, clean up your space and sage... So you could be spiritual here, okay? So if you sage, sage, you're coming in, you're both coming in as birds. You're dealing with a hyena. Dealing with a jackass right now, okay? Um, and it sucks because you feel like, you know, you came in, you cleaned up somebody else's fucking mess. Because you're dealing with somebody who's probably not sober, and that doesn't have to be just drinking itself, okay? It could be whatever addiction, whatever somebody was holding on to, but you're not happy. It's like petty. It's like, I, it's like you're telling yourself, can't believe I had to claim, come in and I had to deal with this shit, you know, but, um, you do bring balance. You are a guardian. So you, like I said, you're, you're, you're either guided or this is for the collective that's, you know, watching that's spiritual. You're a purifier, you're a healer, you're a guardian. You bring balance. So you might have met your match here, but it certainly wouldn't feel like it. And it sucks because you did have to go through a life experience. And it looks like it's the other person's life experience that, you know, you stepped into. 
you know, be careful, especially if you're a light worker. I picked up on that because you'd be an empath. So be careful there because you're a healer, you know. You cleaned up other people's messes. The vultures appear. vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly un undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is a blessing. So you don't feel valued by this energy, you know. Um, and I don't know if they see it or not. So, again, something may be faded here. You do have the wheel. It is a sudden turn of events, guys. There was a massive life experience. You might come together with somebody. You know? But, uh, right now you're pissed and you're not having it. But again, guys, the phoenix is here, the overall energy. You know, you're clearing past karma. Like, things can go better. They can, you know, smooth themselves out. Spirit's not even too happy with this energy right now either. For those who are dealing with this scenario. I definitely feel like you stopped cleaning up this mess, though. Now this energy is like, shit, I missed an opportunity. You're dealing with somebody who comes from ego and pride. It's, it's real hard for this energy to um, suck it up. But you're not having it. If this energy can't suck it up, you're not having it. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. And, and be careful when you make that judgment call because right now you're not too happy about a situation. You're pissed. But you're dealing with somebody who's just... Um, what's I gonna say? Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that is very uncomfortable discussing things. But this person needs to step into their own person because they know how to be a leader. You're an Aries, right? So this is like spirit. Like, why don't you take your goals seriously? Spirit is not happy with you right now. So it's, it's time to reevaluate some things, Aries. Get back on track. Suck it up. Stop stressing out. Stop overthinking, overanalyzing. Time to get sober. It's definitely interfering if you're a drinker or you have some type of addiction. And for my cross watchers, you know, again, it, it's, it's saying, you know, there's a blessing in disguise. Could it be that there's something brand new around the corner of you and not this person? Possibly. But for a majority of you, I think you might end up with this person because you have a renewal. You have the phoenix, right? It's it's transformation. It's something coming back together. Um, you have the two of cups. It's, you know... It's, it's coming together, it's compromise, it's partnership, it's romantic relationships. So I hope this helps continue to, I feel like the cross watchers, you're good, you know. Um, you might want to get outdoors though, you, you know, with the full moon coming and we just had the summer solstice, it's extremely strong energy and I will tell you, um, with the summer solstice, it is about releasing past karma and all that, and that's, that's happening. Okay, you're just, you're dealing with somebody who does not like to speak as someone's ego's in the way. Someone doesn't like to be vulnerable, weary. I think you're dealing with a giant teddy bear. It's just, it's getting to that point with somebody. I think you're just fed up, though. In my Aries, whoever this is, you know, resonating with, honestly, it's time to pull your shit together. Even even your guardians, whatever this is regarding, is, is not happy with you. They're not amused. This is not who you are. You're wearing a mask. You don't want to talk about things. You're not being authentic. You're not being you. You know? You want something to go in your favor, you got to help turn the wheel. Because this can go backwards, and then you'd have a big loss. 
And you probably have so much ego, you're sitting here being like, fuck it, I don't care. I'll take the loss, you know. And if that's how you feel, then you got a lot of work, work to do. And if you're the other person, you're cross-watching, continue to do what you do. The, the right person at the right time will come in for you. It's a blessing in disguise. If this is done, there's a reason. There's something else. Others of you is, is coming back together. But just continue to have fun, work on you. I feel like this should be like a, a weekly read, but it's, you know, it's, this was for my, my Aries slash cross watchers. So now I am going to stop this. I hope you have a kick ass fucking week and I am going to do another extended just for Patreon. I love you guys so much. Don't try to make this resonate. If this doesn't resonate, it's not your story. Don't try to place yourselves in situations, especially in this energy. I will tell you, a vulture would eat up a hyena real fucking quick, though. You don't fuck with the empress, yeah? And women, purple might be a really good color for you this week. There's some type of higher wisdom, too. Look what the cobra's got, the purple at the bottom. Rebirth, transformation, comma being cleared. It does suck that, you you know, you got dragged through the mud here. But there hasn't been a reason. Like, you're a healer, you're a light worker, you're something. You're spiritual, you can handle it. It doesn't mean you deserved it. I just want to pull your, your best advice for the Empress right here because I feel you more like, um, again, it's the same exact cards. It's, it's, it's renewal. It's up to you. I feel like... Um, Like, you're not having it. Like, you've had enough, you know? Renewal on the Five of Cups. It was the same two at the bottom. Things didn't turn out the way you had hoped, you know? Um, the next would be not seeing something in a positive situation, but you clearly did at one point. Now you're just like, you know what? I hope things were going to be different, but they, they weren't. You know, I don't think there's anything petty here, but it, it's just basically saying when this energy comes back in, renew, evaluate. It's a favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move in a new direction. And it looks like, you know, you're going to go in a new direction with someone. You know, so. Um, I, I hope this helps whoever's dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Because this is something that, you know, it's, it's, I'm doing this because it has to be so damn important. You got the cobra. You got someone guiding this energy. You got spirit that's upset with this energy. This energy is acting like petty, you know, sober up, smarten up energy. It doesn't want to own up to their mistakes. They're, it's just, it's, it's tough because you're dealing with somebody who's so fun to be around and it's, you know, there's a destined situation, but it doesn't mean that it will come in together. It takes two. And there's always consequences to actions, you know, and it looks like someone's getting a dose of consequences right now because you're messing with the wrong type of energy. I don't know. It's, it's not, it's, it's not even a bad thing. Like, um, I just feel like, there could be a massive turnaround if somebody can just own up to something. It's not easy going through a life experience, guys. But I will tell you right now, if you're the Aries watching this and not the cross watchers, you're dealing with somebody who won't tolerate bullshit and will make sure things get done properly and not because it's her way. It's because it's the fucking right way. She will chew you up and spit you out. She will set 
feelings aside, like I'm telling you, you're dealing with somebody who's been through a lot. They're Empress energy. You didn't value. You're not valuing what you had right in front of you. So you can't get mad if if this is an ending and, and they go in a new direction. Because even spirit's not happy with you right now. Now, I don't mean to say that like an asshole, but I'm just, I'm dead serious. And I just smarten up and I, and I know you might be giggling or you're like, eh, like that's, that's your own pride and ego. You're either going to pick up on it or you're not. You're going to take from it and learn and grow or you're not. But you had help along the way. You had the right people around you. When somebody spiritual comes into your life, that that's it. And you choose and you interact with that energy and you swap energies. And, you know, if, if you thought it was just silliness, you fucked with the wrong person because that energy alters lives. And they don't come into your life and just alter lives. You have to be willing. And clearly you were. So I, I do hope this works out for everybody who's watching this video. You know, do what's best for you. Drop the weight. Let the past go. Move forward. Stop being inconsistent. Stop being indecisive. Let something go in your direction. Let the wheel take this. It's got a positive outcome. If everybody comes together and works together. Whew. I love you guys.